Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Glasgow Hotel here in uh, the Marriott Hotel here in Glasgow. As always, a fantastic turnout. We're delighted to be back in Glasgow for our show, He Who Dares, this Friday at the Brayhead Arena. Obviously, it's an important night for, for many, many people on this table. Um, just to tell you briefly a bit about the card, four-round contest with Scott Allen, Ryan Smith, Hugh Gray, and Commonwealth gold medalist Callum Johnson as well. Michael Roberts, David Brophy also in action as well as Scotty Cardle. John Slowey taking on Chris Hughes for the Celtic and Scottish featherweight title. And the three televised bouts, Stephen Simmons defending his WBC international cruiserweight title against Waddy Camacho. Willie Lemon taking on Curtis Woodhouse in a British and Commonwealth light welterweight clash. And of course the return of Ricky Burns against Dejan Zlatikan from, from Montenegro. Just to tell you and introduce everybody at the table, down on the far left, delighted to welcome the undefeated Michael Roberts. To his right, the current Commonwealth light welterweight champion from Glasgow, Willie Limond. To his right, the current WBC international silver cruiserweight champion, Stephen Simmons. Delighted to welcome from Montenegro, the Professional Boxing Federation president, Milorad Martinovic. To his right, the former WBC international Lightweight champion, WBC number eight, Dejan Zlatikam. Delighted, as always, to be working with Ricky Burns' manager, Stephen Simmons' manager, Willie Limmons' manager, and many others, Alex Morrison. Down on the far right, the current undefeated, super middleweight, David Brophy. Next to him, challenging from the Scot for the Scottish and Celtic featherweight title, John Slowey. The current British light welterweight champion, Curtis Woodhouse. The challenger for the WBC International Cruiserweight title, Wadi Camacho. To his right, the new trainer um, of Ricky Burns, Tony Sims. And to my right, the former and soon to be current champion, lightweight WBO champion of the world, Ricky Burns. It's a, a very important card, as I said, for a number of fighters. And, you know, we, we're going to hear from all those fighters shortly. I think... Domestic grudge matches seem to be the flavour of the month at the moment, and I'm not sure you're going to get one with more intensity than Stephen Simmons against Wadi Camacho. It was a fight that was due to happen um, last time we were here, but couldn't because of injury, and now they get a chance to put it right. We asked them both, of course, to behave themselves today and realise that just in 48 hours' time, they'll get a chance to settle the score in a ring. Um, on an, another side, a, a domestic fight that features just a touch more respect is Curtis Woodhouse against Willie Limond. It's a wonderful fight for two belts on the line, two great fighters, two great servants of the sport. And of course, main event in the return of one of Scotland's greatest ever fighters in Ricky Burns. A new era, a new trainer, and a very, very tough fight against Dejan Zlatikan. And um, a new era to, to regain that lightweight championship of the world, which we will deliver a shot for him on that. I'm excited to see him back. And as always, we appreciate your support in a new era for Ricky Burns and a, and a journey for a number of Scottish fighters here on this bill. Tickets are still available, limited in many areas. We ask you to come down to Brayhead on Friday and show your support. The weigh-in will be at 1pm at the Brayhead Shopping Centre tomorrow. Come down, be a great occasion. And now, um, to say a few words, we're gonna, I'm going to start with the current Commonwealth light welterweight champion. And, and we'll, we'll continue the applause to these fine fighters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Willie Lemon. Talking's done now, and it's time to the show on Friday. Just <coughs> all the hard work's been done, hard spam, everything. So, just looking forward to Friday now. Put on a great show for the fans. Me and Curtis, I think we'll do that. Obviously, it's a, it's a great ball with the, with the upcoming fighters, champions. So, really looking forward to this. And uh, as I say, I can't say much more. I think we've done most of the talk in the last press conference. So, just looking forward to putting on a good show for the fans and hopefully keep the titles in Glasgow. Thanks. And Curtis, obviously, um, last show you, you captured that British title. You told us you were going to retire then. But now you're back and a chance to win two belts. I think excited about being the, the away fighter, the champion, but the away fighter in terms of territory. Yeah, definitely. Um, the reason I did come back was for, for nights like Friday night. You know, fantastic, packed house, full of uh, crazy Scottish fans. 
Yeah, cheering Willie on. So that's something that um, I'll, I'll make, really make me raise my game. Um, I'm really excited about the fight. Very confident of victory. Trained really hard. Ryan Rhodes has put me through hell these last 12 weeks. We used to be good friends, but he's pissed me off these last 12 <laughs> weeks. So it's been really, really difficult. But yeah, really excited about um, about the fight. And like I said, me and me and Willie will um, will put on a great a great fight for the fans. I can I can guarantee that. I'm coming to fight. There ain't gonna be no messing around. If he uh, wants to box me on the outside, then that's great. If he uh, wants to stand and fight, I'll be, I'll be there waiting for him. So I'm looking forward to putting on a great show. Just one thing I'd like to clear up, um, and then I, I'm done. Is um, I've heard there's been a few rumours going around that in the Scottish press that Billy Nelson's been helping me in the build-up for my fight with Willie. Um, I'd just like to clarify that that isn't true whatsoever. Um, spoke to Billy when the fight got made. Um, and asked Billy if he'd go in my corner to do the cuts because um, we didn't have a, a cuts man at the time and Billy's response to me was that he couldn't do it because of the respect that he had for Willie and his team um, and that was the end of the conversation I've not spoke to Billy since that um, and I know there's been reports out that he's been giving me tips on Willie and things like that but that, I can put my hand on my heart and tell you that's, that's not the truth um, so I just wanted to make that, make that clear Okay, I've got his number if you need it tonight Yeah, he, I spoke to him last week. I'm, okay. I mean, <laughs> just, just a question I got for both you guys, and I'm sure that the press will as well. At this stage in your career, everything you've achieved, Willie and, and the fights you've had, and obviously Curtis now. I know fighters don't look past the fight, but must at this stage, this is this is a must-win fight for both of you. That's the biggest fight in my career. This is to me, this is bigger than the the Can fight, the Morales fight. This is, this is massive to me. So I've put everything in my heart and soul at this training camp, and I was, I'm very confident I win as well. And I, I can't see by this fight, but I, I can't afford any slip ups. And the way I've trained, I've got my weight right down, so many rounds spammed with so many different people, it's been unbelievable. The, the, the amount of manuals is trying to get me into this shape. And I'm looking forward to knowing, as you said, it, I can't afford any slip ups because at this stage in my career, where else do you go? But you can't look at that if you just go to get on with it. And that's it, just perform. And that's it, if I perform, that's good enough. That'll be good enough. Exactly the same, you know. We, neither of us can afford to lose. You know, we're not we're not 21. Um, if things don't go right, it's probably the end of the road for either of us. So that will make a great fight because a desperate fighter is a dangerous fighter. Like I proved against Darren Hamilton, there's no way I could afford to lose that fight. My whole career was on that one night, um, so I couldn't afford to lo lose. And that's why you've seen the performance you've seen. Um, we're both confident of victory and we'll both leave it all out there. You know, I'm strong, fit. I think this is the first time Willie will have been in with someone that's a genuine light well to it, punching light well to it. He's been inactive two fights in two years. It's going to make a big difference, a big difference in the fight. I've been active, wins, lose. I've been active during that, during that campaign, you know, so I think that'll make a big difference. The last time Willie got hit hard was a long time ago. Do you think there's well, I don't a... I don't know about that, Curtis. See my spars I've had. <laughs> a, lot of hard, a lot of hard tits and spars as well. 16 ounce gloves, a little bit of a difference. I don't know do Do you not? 14. <laughs> <laughs> two ounces makes all the difference. Yeah. It sure does. So does two inches. Um, thanks, guys. It's a cracking fight I can't wait to see. And, uh, you know, as Alex Morrison's fighter and Dave Coldwell's fighter, and again, thanks to Dave Coldwell... Fantastic working with him again. Um, I'm going to get a chance to be a fan for that fight and sit back and literally, as always, may the best man win. You've both been great servants to the sport and, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Moving forward now to, to the, the main event, um, I'm going to just bring in a man of few words, but just to talk about the camp and, and what you've seen for Ricky Burns in this fight. Um, Tony Sims, Ricky's new trainer. Yeah, well, as you all know, Ricky um, has moved down south for uh, the last 10 weeks of training, which is a massive commitment. And um, it just shows you the desire he's still got to come back and prove that he can be a world champion again. Um, he's a great guy to work with, really enjoyed working with the last 10 weeks. And um, he's had quality sparring down in the Essex gym. Luke Campbell, Kevin Mitchell, Martin J. Ward, all top fighters. And... Um, I believe that 
Ricky will produce a good performance on Friday night. He's in fantastic condition. And he's re I think he'll regain the form that he had before the Terence Crawford fight. Um, his weight's good. And uh, I'm just looking forward to Friday night. Thank you. And to hear from the challenger, he was, uh, I believe he's got a statement that will be translated and to say a few words um, about the fight from uh, Montenegro, the undefeated Dejan Zlatikan. Yes. Yes. Ovaj, za ovu borbu protiv Ricky Burns uh, mislim da se najbolje pripremio i da već znam kaka, kakav je kvalitet Ricky Burns da je četiri godine bio švedski, svetski prvak u VBO federaciji, ali on ne zna kakvog sam ja kvaliteta tako da će biti prilike da se uvjere to, uh, u petak veče i ovaj, želi bih se zahvaliti federaciji VBC a gospodinu Mauriciju Sulejmanu i gospodinu Mauro Betiju i borba može da počne slobodno što se mene tiče. Thank you. Just, just a few words to say. Um, I prepared well for this fight. I want to say thank you to the WBC, Eddie Hearn and everyone concerned for giving me the opportunity. Um, as you know, I'm a WBC champion. Uh, Ricky is a WBO champion, we're both ex-champions, so we're both fighting for something we want. Uh, you're going to see a very good fight, and hopefully I will be the one who takes the belt home, or who at least has a chance to get the belt. Um, and thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. Now, I'm lucky to have the opportunity to work with uh, some very special fighters and very special people. And obviously, um, when Ricky Burns lost against Terence Crawford, it was uh, devastating for everybody involved. He's been a long-standing world champion, a great servant to, to sport in Scotland and in Britain. And um, it was tough to take. As I told you in the last press conference, I remember leaving that venue and someone came up to me and said, I suppose we'll never see you again. And the answer was, no, you're, you're wrong. Because as I told Ricky, now it gets exciting again. Now is the opportunity of a new journey and to go and try and win that world title back. For someone at the stage in his career to decide to pack up bags from his hometown and come down and spend 10 weeks away from his family shows everybody the type of man that he is and the desire that he has to remain at the top level and to win back that world title. Um, I still believe that Ricky Burns will regain that world title and we'll be doing everything we can to make sure we get him that shot. Saturday night, he has a very tough fight in Dejan an undefeated fighter who has not got experience of losing, who's come in here and a huge opportunity for him. But for Ricky, this is about a new era. This is about proving to himself and to other people that he's still got what it takes to operate at the top level. And we believe he's got that in droves. And while you've got the desire and you've got the ability, there shouldn't be anything to get in your way. So as always, I'd like to give you a warm welcome to the former and future champion of the world, Ricky Burns. Oh, thanks, Eddie. Um, no, Joe, all the hard work's done now. Um, I've had a great 10 weeks, um, obviously down south, um, working with Tony, um, all the other guys in the gym, um, even getting away to Spain for two weeks um, in between that as well. Um, obviously, it was hard, a hard thing to do, but I was trying to get home as much as I can, maybe every second or third weekend, but I'm hoping Friday night that this is all going to pay off. We've trained, as always, for a hard fight. As Tony said, the, the sparring and that's went really well. So um, I'm just looking forward to climbing back in the ropes, hopefully go out there, put in a good performance, get the win. Cheers. I thought we'd save the, the Simmons-Camacho fight till the end because sometimes it's a little bit of an anti-climax coming down to, to Ricky who doesn't say too much. And uh, we thought these two have got, obviously got a lot to say to each other. And we asked them to keep it clean. We are live on Sky Sports and other channels. Um, firstly, I'm going to ask the, the challenger for the title, Wadi Camacho, to say a few words. Please welcome Wadi Camacho. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, just want to say thank you very much, Eddie, for you know, putting this fantastic show again. 
And um, you see, it's, it's going to be great. Do you know what I mean? Um, to, on the 27th, it's going to be amazing. And this beautiful girl, I'm going to make her so ugly on the 27th because you know what time it is. It's going to be ma macho time, you know. And you finished, um, babes? Babes, you finish? Uh, go, on, go on, take a seat now. Go on, take a seat, son. Oh, look, you back again? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you got the uh, Roman mic. Is there any female here got any makeup or something? Like, I'd just like to give you a little bit of makeup and that. Ugly, man. I'm going to make you so ugly on that. Beautiful, man. Go on, go on, go on take a seat. Go on, son. And, um, can, can we have a translator, please? Mar please, uh, please welcome. Este the mariquita tiene que sentar ahí en la silla porque huele muy mal. Por favor, que 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 esta mujer me está molestando. Por favor, dile dile a esta mariquita que se siente y yo tengo que hablar. El macho man está hablando ahora. Okay. Somebody needs to translate, or okay. you can just can Google it if you want, mate. It's Spanish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBC International Cruiserweight Champion, Stephen Simmons. Hello. Hello. You don't need it. I thank MGM Marbea for the uh, Putting us up and uh, treating us like royalty over there. Uh, it's been an amazing camp in uh, Marbella and a few weeks here. Um, through the uh, camp, I've been married. Uh, he was a good boy. I drunk water all day and uh, flew away back to Marbella the day after. But on fight night, you're going to see a little loudmouth here who can't even look at me in the face. Like I'm dancing. Thanks, he got the moves. Uh, you're going to see a loudmouth get taught a major lesson and he's gone flat on his back. So Eddie, I didn't, I didn't quite hear that. Like, can you just translate for me, please? Um, obviously, you guys have got plenty of questions. What do you, you know, you, you're coming into someone's backyard. What are you expecting on fight night? In and out of the ring. Obviously, you're not the favourite person in Scotland, but you know that. But you are coming here, and I think a lot of people give you credit for, for coming into his backyard. You seem very focused on the fight. Listen, I just want to say this, you know, on, on the 27th, Friday, it's going to be match or time. So everyone here can boo, or watch on Sky, get your tickets, because it's going to be amazing. That like this boy here, or sorry, this girl here, is going to smell the floor. Trust me. Everyone knows what I do. And now I'm under Peter Sims' gym. Like, it's, it's going to be amazing. Trust me. And yeah, buddy. And Stephen, obviously, uh, there's a lot of emotion in this fight. Is that something you've got you've to keep under control? I know, obviously, that, you know, what, what you'd like to do, but you get a chance to do that on Friday night. But is it, is it a case of keeping the emotions in check? Yeah, the emotions are in check. Um, I'm in a really happy place at the moment. Uh, I just got married three, week, three and a half weeks ago. Congratulations, uh, I've babes. Had, I've had a great camp. Um, me and Danny have worked our tactics, and Danny will even tell you himself that I've been laughing every day. Uh, anything this guy says that one goes in one ear and out the other. He talks nonsense. That's why he spoke Spanish, because he can understand him better. Um, but... But I'm sorry, I don't really understand you either. I don't really understand you. He can't even look me in the eye. You've gone to my bay, uh, so you've gone to Spanish. You're like basically, you've gone to my country and you haven't learned Spanish. Come on, mate. You should know about that. You're, that's exactly what. Listen, that's babe, exactly right. Babe, you've been babe, putting, uh, you've been putting on Twitter. It's Scotland baby. versus England. You're not even, you're not even English. You're Are you listening, Spanish. baby? Ah. 
Oh, hey, Mariquita, are you listening? Are you listening, babes? I'm listening. I'm just. You're gonna smell the floor. What you're saying. Like I said before, you're the first yeah. time you're gonna smell the floor properly, like, and you're gonna stay on the floor. I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna say, yeah, buddy. You know what it smells like because you've been there. What does it smell like? But there you, there you go. That, there you go. That, that's a big thing. Sit down, everyone. Sit down, sit down. Yeah. Like I said before, you know, I've been on the floor for the first time. You're gonna smell the floor. How many times you've you been on the floor? I, like, you took count of your last time. It don't matter. I've been on the floor when I ain't had no titles. Now you've got titles. Remember, I said to you, you last time, yeah, I said, when you've got something, I'm gonna come and take yeah. it. Yeah. You now say you've got something. You when I've got something, but you were meant. You were. You didn't stick to your side of the bargain. You were meant to stay in bed. Listen, son. Listen, yeah. What I'm saying to you, yeah, before when I won a prize fire, I said to you, you didn't have nothing, so I, didn't need, I don't need to need look for you. But now you've got something, now I'm coming to your back door. You said it before you won no, prize fire. No, no, prize no, fire no, 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 listen. You're, listen, a, free, no, you're a free no, champion. There's no jokes, no, no jokes. I swear down, yeah, you're, you're definitely, when I hit you, yeah, you're going to, sm- oh, oh, I feel sorry Maybe for you. Not. I swear down. Yeah. Remember, you your legs were swinging like that. You see, my, Michael Sweeney, yeah. Well, you know, you know what shot. it feels like. Yeah. All right, cool. You're the one that knows what no it feels problem, like. No problem, man. I just buy you a nice dress after the fight. Remember, you delayed me getting in the ring for 20 minutes in USA. Boom. It's gonna boom. happen again. What? What's boom? What's boom? You got boomed. You got boom. Okay. I'm quite happy to leave it there for today. Um, because you know, I'm happy. We've got, we got the, uh, the weigh-in tomorrow at one o'clock at the Brayhead uh, shopping centre, which also Eddie. should be reasonably entertaining. Listen, babes, yeah, can I ask you a question, please? Me I'm or being Steve? Uh, uh, no, I'm asking right. to my babes. My babes. <laughs> Call me what you want. <laughs> You're going to be getting called can a lot after listen, this fight. Listen, now, now, now I'm here face-to-face, yeah? I'm, I'm actually looking at you, yeah? Uh, I'm about this time. Is, this, this is going to be the first time, yeah? The first time I'm going to look straight into your eyes, yeah? Right. When we're in a fight, yeah? When I put you on the floor, I want you to say, yeah, buddy. Can you agree to it, please? There's no yeah, buddy, getting said. Well, okay, it's simple okay, as that, you and you're not going to have me on the floor. Can you, uh, can you explain? You're so sure, yeah, that I'm not going you're to, not yeah? Gonna put okay, me, you're not going to put me. Okay, I'm not going to, yeah? Listen, I'll do anything you you'll say, You'll be saying, yeah, yeah, yeah mummy. Yeah, 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 mummy. That's no problem. I love my mum. I think everybody loves their mum. So listen to this, yeah? When I put you on the floor, I want you to say, yeah, buddy. Can, can you just please, in front of all your fans, yeah? Like, to just agree to it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Say yeah, buddy. When I put you on the floor, agree to it. Come on, man. It's not gonna listen, happen. Listen, listen, listen to this. Yeah, I am so confident. Yeah, so listen. confident that I'm gonna beat this bum. Yeah, like yeah, I'll put my purse into it. Yeah, bum. I'm you're so, a journeyman. I'm so confident. I'm so no, no joke. Yeah, I am so confident. Yeah, that I'll put my purse on the fight. It's yeah? Funny, cause I'm, the board won't let you do it. Listen, I'm telling you. You don't mind, yeah, but I'm telling you. You're not winning. All right, cool. No go problem. Put your, go and put your money on it. Go know what I do. I, I don't see, understand. I don't see, understand. Can you talk see, Spanish? See, see, see your purse that you're getting. Go and put it on the bookage. You'll listen, get better odds. Uh, no, 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 no better odds. Listen, listen. You can't even agree to it. Yeah? Put, put your money listen, on the bookage. You'll get better odds. Listen, let me know. Simple. Let me know what shot you want. Yeah. Listen. Let me know. Which one you want? Yeah or buddy? Which one? <laughs> let me. Let me know. <laughs> Babes, keep your cool down. Yeah, don't crumble. When I see you in the ring, don't run away or nothing like okay. that. Just relax. Relax yourself, baby. Okay. Look at that. Oh, baby. Ugly. Baby. Okay. Still I'm better looking in okay. your messes. We, 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 we're going we're gonna to stop it there and we're going to um, have head-to-heads um, a little bit further away from some for, for the three main televised fights. <laughs> Guys, this is... Uh, Everybody, you know, the rivalry is great, and as long as we keep it respectful, I think that's important in this great sport. Um, the beautiful thing about boxing is, no matter how much you dislike someone, no matter how much someone's got something that you want, you get a chance to put it right. And on Friday night, these guys will get a chance to put it right and to win and to advance their careers. And for defeat for some people will mean the end of careers. Um, and uh, victory will mean progressing on to great things. So as always, we wish everybody the best of luck. May the best man win. A special thank you as always to the people of Glasgow for coming out supporting our events. We love coming back here. We'll be coming back again and again and again. Get down to Brayhead on Friday night. It's going to be explosive. Thank you very much. (laughs) 